what's up past the glad you passed Well, it's nothing more than the pasta cast And the sit on that will make it last And put on the headphones and relax Because nothing more than the pasta cast And what? Nothing more than the pasta cast Oh, put on the headphones and relax Nothing more than the pasta, pasta cast Come on down, stay a while Try to do something that'll make you smile Come another day Come back and play And yeah, put on the headphones and relax Cause it's nothing more than the pasta pasta can That's amazing! Hello everyone, Lord Pasta here, uh, with the PastaCast. Um, I'm your host. I'm joined today by Mr. Cram, a Spanish YouTuber. Um, I am not joined by my co-host, Nimij Neb. I'm probably going to have to find another co-host. Uh, but for today, it is just me. Uh, say hello, Mr. Cram. Introduce yourself. Mr. Krem, I am a Spanish 2B2T YouTuber and I make videos about the history of 2B2T, basically. Yeah, um, so obviously um, you have one foot in two communities here. Um, and I just kind of want to, uh, you know, enlighten everybody about what that's sort of like. So on one hand, you are involved in the English-speaking uh, 2B community where you get all your information from. And on the other hand, mm -hmm. you're involved in the 2B Spanish community uh, to whom you give mm -hmm. the information to. What are What is a major difference besides language um, between those two communities? Because you know, um, you know, there's a sort of stereotype for 2B2T culture. I want to know if that holds true even on the Spanish side of 2B. Okay. Um, the basic difference between the Spanish and English community is that um, like they are so... like they don't know anything about the other side. The English community thinks that um, all the risers and and all Spanish um, white is the, like think the same way, but then um, the Spanish community thinks um, that the English community is just an only um, like only one team, like a huge that is just the English speakers, English yeah English speakers and um, well, players. They are only part of one huge group, and I see like a lot of from both sides. And and yeah, and I also see that um, the Spanish community doesn't really care about history. Hmm. They only care is about 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 drama, and about um, basically what's happening right now. And then if you look at the English community, a uh, um, way more like they have they enjoy like searching for um, old things and all that kind of stuff. Like the Spanish. Before I start making my videos, they didn't know that in, that 2 b 2 t was ha, had that history or or what was an incursion or something like that. Like they, like I don't know. Like they have, like each community. Maybe in the English community, you will see like a lot of people doing a lot of different. The Spanish community you will see that a lot of people doing the same. I don't know if you can understand me. I don't know. Yeah, if, um, yeah, I get what you're saying. So basically. Um the spanish community played the server just for purely the um like anarchy aspects of it uh, exactly. whereas more of the um you know english speaking side of the community plays for the history um would you say that that's true well like i don't think like that's 
the English, maybe someone in the English community plays because of the history, maybe someone plays for the, anarchy, for the anarchy, or for a lot of reasons, but... Yeah, I'm talking about, like, broadly speaking. We'll see very, like, you will see only people playing for the anarchy in the Spanish community. Hmm. That's... So, or are for you, the drama. do you think that your videos are sort of changing that, kind of? Because you do history okay. videos. Yeah, can you, like, are, can you make the question, like, can you ask again, please? Um, do you again, think that you are changing again. that attitude of the Spanish community to only play for the anarchy of 2B by producing your 2B history videos? Do you think you're changing the community? Well, well I like to think that, like, um, I know that um, a bunch of, like, two other channels start making history videos or information or informative videos and a lot of people message about saying like explaining me that they are starting to join to see old dreams or like um um like face pounds or stuff like that and um yeah i think that i am making a little change because now people are starting to discover this but i think that uh, people that are, that are playing in the spanish community are only playing for the anarchy like maybe 20 persons 10 persons are joining my videos about history but i don't think that that i'm making a huge change but inside my community a big part of people are joining me i don't like sorry if i'm not explaining um no with... no i get I, I get it um so um, obviously there's that difference between the community, but what I really want to know is, is the Spanish community equally as toxic as the English community? I think that the Spanish community is worse than the English community. Really? <laughs> what, what leads you to that yeah, conclusion? Yeah, because, um, because I, just watching my subscribers, like, uh, of my subscribers and I try to teach them always that it's just a game uh, but they don't care about that and they join the server and they try to they try to to um, like I don't know I feel like the motivation like I don't I, again the Spanish community um has always been moved by Community intuitively started because of a YouTuber called a rich MFC. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know that. But then, like, um, a couple of little time started to make videos, um, making their own series, like channels that started using the like their subscribers that see the rich MFC video and they move to their channel or searching for more tv 2 tm videos in Spanish. And basically, there were like two main called Felix El Noob and another one called El Diogenes um, that start like the first thing that they teach the Spanish community is that everyone that speaks English hates them and mm. like something that you do well I mean that was kind of fake. true I mean <laughs> no but no no not exactly that like, yeah but they think that if you speak English you, you hate like like and then like the Spanish community start turning like very turning into a racist community people and they don't, didn't want to talk with English people they didn't want to like started to become very toxic because of racist well I mean um, it's the same way in the English side of to be I no, mean no but it's not the same like I have seen both sides, and you can see the difference. Oh, okay. All right. Well, I mean, I'll just like, have to take your word because I can't. I, don't, I can't speak Spanish. Uh, like so. um, I have been in so many discords, Spanish-speaking discords, and basically, these YouTubers also make teams and and factions to fight English-speaking teams. English and I don't know like I like um all 
if you're a new English player, they will not kill you. But if you're a new Spanish player, they will kill you. That's how the, the Spanish community thinks. We know that QBTT doesn't care about that. Like, if you're an English new player, the people that support incursions will kill you. Yeah, Your language, no matter. They, they don't care you do. where you come from, really. They just care if you're new overall. Exactly. So, the English um, community... Nice community thinks that they only kill people that speak Spanish. That's the difference, like... I mean, a lot of old players know that, aren't, um, like... A lot of old players are from countries where English isn't the majority the language. language. Yeah, I yeah. know that there are a lot of... And just, yeah. yeah, but so, I yeah. mean... So, I think we've pretty much covered that. Um, so, let's talk a little bit more about your YouTube channel. Okay. Um, so, when exactly did you decide that you were going to make to be content on your YouTube channel? And what was the thought process behind that? And um, what, like, the qu um, the question is... Uh, well, to make to be content? Yeah. When, when and why did you make to be content? Mm, look, well, very good question. <laughs> um, I am trying to remember it. I know that I joined in April of 2000. And of 2000, what? Because you, you cut out there. You keep on cutting um, in and out in random places. But normally, really? yeah, normally we can, uh, I can understand uh, what you're saying. But what year was it? 2018? 2018, exactly. Alright. Go on. Uh, so, I joined in April of 2018, and I started playing 29th of April. And I don't know why I was like playing for half a year without recording anything. Hmm. Um, um, for like, I make a short video saying that I want to base with subscribe. I say that I will not record videos in that server. Um, and someone invited me to their team, to the Spanish speaking team. I say, and then, um, I want to show the bases that we are doing, and I wanted to show the process of making the bases with all the. I started them. Uh, I, I am a, a series of of episodes, yeah, on in Tubi, and basing with Spanish team. But like, but I don't remember a lot of like when I started recording the videos, really. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Um, yeah, so basically, back in the day, I started making Tubi content. For the plain and simple reason that I wanted to change from being a Kerbal Space Program YouTuber to a Minecraft YouTuber, and I thought that playing 2B would be the easiest way to do that because it would get me a lot of subs um, for another game other than KSP. But it, it ended up backfiring because 2B at this point is basically its own thing separate from Minecraft. Like, um... Mm. There were a few other YouTubers back in the day who did 2B content. Their channels are dead now. Why? Because they don't play on 2B anymore. And they want to do other things. But nobody watches their videos. So you got to be really wary about that. But it, it appears as if you already had like an audience on your channel before 2B. Is that correct? Um... Can you repeat the last thing that you... Um, so, it appears that you already had, like, an audience before you played on Tubi or made videos on Tubi. Is that true? Yeah, um, before I'm, uh, um, I started making Tubi content, I had already, like, 20,000 subscribers. Um, yeah, that's a lot. And it's because I was making PS4... Minecraft videos that there were they were very cringy. Oh yeah, I can imagine. Uh, no, no, they were horrible. Like there are there there is um an actual community that make good um PS4 
why I made like these horrible um, roleplay videos. Like they were like I don't know. I make like a huge um, a ton of views, and so I keep them. And then I start feeling like bad because I was starting to make something that enjoying. So then I made the change to PC, and one of the and the first series that I made to start this change from PS4 to PC was um to B2T. So yeah. Uh, um, so it appears that that has worked out for you. Um, well, you... no, like it take a lot to start working. But my videos of TV, like I upload them, and really no one watch. Like they when I upload. Uh, uh, um, um, to be videos like the, I, I have made four episodes, like they have, they don't have a lot of views, like no videos. Um, but I make the first video that has that had um some some views. I make the second video that has less views. I made the third video of to be that nobody watched. Like that video was so horrible. Like it was a bad video and a video that like the. And then I made the fourth video, and the fourth video become like became to start a lot of views. Yeah, oh, well, well it then appears I... that you have gained subscribers from then, so it would appear that eventually yeah. it did catch well, a little bit. Well, like I made that video, and then I stopped playing because I might enter in a drama, and I received like a lot of of bull of bully like of mm, yeah thing because of that like. A ton, a ton of people were in, like, do you remember this last time um, two, two YouTubers that say that um, they're LD and Felix and Loop, I have said them um, later? Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and, um, so I was um, against their, their way of saying that, I mean, that our way of thinking of the, the community and promoting like this racism and all that kind of stuff. And so I am with them and all their subscribers start um, throwing me shit and I left the server for a while then the, the Etika thing and YouTube oh, yeah. algorithm mm -hmm. thing happened so I decided to take a break but and well I was making two videos and another type of videos but then one day I decided to like I Discords and people were very ignorant, like they didn't know the history of Tubi. So I decided to start making the the uh, my own show. That really turned out like per fantastic. That made a ton of views and a lot of us uh, uh, of of people like that. So what well, my my channel become mainly Tubi content like um, five months ago or six months ago, and yeah, people really like. Um, yeah, that. Yeah, that's uh, that's interesting. One question that I have is, so I I know obviously what it's like, um, like the kind of insults that that are used when an English person is trying to be like racist towards like a Spanish speaking person. But what what do Spanish pe speaking people generally like call like the English speaking side? of the 2B community, like what's... Mm, well, the the most common um, insult is gringos. Oh yeah, obviously. <laughs> and, but like, for example, when someone says, um, I don't, like, a lot of English people, like English speakers say, Spanish, um, I don't speak um, third world, or I don't speak taco, or stuff like that. So, um, Spanish pe Spanish speakers say I don't speak um, school shooting or stuff <laughs> like. I mean, that's not really racist though. I mean, like, yeah. Well, or um, I don't speak um, private um, education or private. Um, um, I don't speak this? private education. We have public education here in America. Well, I, <laughs> a lot of people don't know about it. Or I don't speak private them um, hospitals like. Yeah, well, we do have those. <laughs> I don't speak. Yeah, people say stuff like that. 
Um, yeah, so anyways, more about your videos and just the content that you make in general. Um, what were some inspirations for like the editing style and the type of like commentary that you do in your history video? Like, is there any like English speaking or Spanish speaking YouTuber that you sort of like oh. influenced you to make those or? Influence? Mm, I really don't know, but before enjoy ant venom so yeah but my videos are not like i don't know i really like the i change to let's say i change from let's place to speaking videos because i think because i'm ant venom hmm. so yeah i think that that's yeah and there was a, there's a spanish um, speaking youtuber that talks about um 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 things that happen in like 4chan and 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 like forums like that or photo coaches that it's basically a um, Spanish 4chan. <laughs> and he had a series called um um Historias del Eve Online, you know what game is? Yeah, Eve I know Online. What Eve Online is. That was also a huge inspiration because it was a a ser uh, like a a series of of videos playing the history of that game, so also influenced me and yeah that that I, I think that there are my two main inspirations for making hmm. and the uh, for making my videos talking and their style and the editing style it was just i start trying things in one of my editing thing in programs and, and basically came with my editing style but it's like so basic i just put videos and images i don't know i i wouldn't call it a, a very basic um things yeah yeah so i mean the the only reason why i asked that is like um because you've been you've been watching me and mc sapling for like a, a really long time actually since yeah since i joined tubi i have been watching yeah i was wondering like maybe maybe You'll like be... my videos like sort of inspired that sort of style a little bit <laughs> um well the stuff well i I, I, <laughs> but we don't have like similar styles. I, I don't know. Well, I, I, I mean, the only similar similarity really is that we like do commentary, but but I yeah, think well, that's true. I think that like commentary now, like gaming commentary or just any kind of commentary, is like the way forward on YouTube. I don't really think that a lot of people are looking to watch like let's plays of games anymore. Um, like really, what, what are your thoughts on that? Yeah, I I think the same. Like I think that it's actually not only in games in general, but especially in Tubi. Oh yeah. Um, like there are so many people like yeah, living spawn. Oh wow, the first one, but no, there are like one million videos of people escaping spawn like that are, yeah yeah and then, well, the, and then one random one will get a million views <laughs> and that'll be so that'll be so infuriating because you're sitting there with like this like well edited video about the history of 2b and this guy literally just filming himself walking out of spawn gets a million views on this video <laughs> isn't that frustrating and uh, I well I don't know, like, there's this, there's a Spanish speaker YouTuber that, like, it's fun to watch, but he has already, like, five B spawn, and have, they have so many views, like, a ton of views, and, like, like, five, five videos of 20 minutes to escape spawn, and he hasn't um, accomplished that, he has been, like, two months trying to get out of there, and... Like, even it was so popular that even appeared in a. Like, do you know who is El Rubius? El Rubius o OMG? Yeah, I think I've heard of him. So he was in a stream watching. Um, he said to watch two videos. And and he had to choose between one of my, of my videos and a video. I was trying to skip spawn. And he watched the video of a dude trying to skip. Oh. Like, my goodness. I know. That, like, that dude, like, El Rubius is the. Um, Spanish speaking, um, Spanish speaking channel, basically, and and he was 
to be, but then I'm Team No Trees, you know Team No Trees? Mm -hmm. Start spamming him to don't do the, don't, to, don't do the video and they actually will to stop him. Sorry. Like Dang. if he actually joined the server, it will be the worst invasion in 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 two years. He that dude has like four, like I don't know, a, a bunch of subscribers, like four million. Check it real fast. It has. Look, I'm going to send it to you and you say the number because I don't know. I know. I know. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know the number. I don't, I don't know huge <laughs> numbers in Spanish either, honestly. I know uno, dos, tres, and then up to ten. That's what I know. <laughs> um, here, wait, let me see if I can catch those before the freaking intro starts playing. Oh. Um, he's got 37 million? My goodness. <laughs> mm. Okay, yeah, that would... That would just destroy to be yeah, so he was going to record the video but beep, but then then in the discord they were able to speak with him and they stopped him yeah that honestly so, yeah. i kind of want to see what would happen if that <laughs> if that occurred <laughs> well I, if that happened i will probably become um larger than, than fit's channel because um all their viewers will go to see the yeah. history and they will see me and hey look if that happens you better link my channel in your is somewhere shout oh, me oh, out oh, somewhere okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> i need to get at least a thousand subscribers from this all right that's all i want <laughs> all i've ever wanted for like my six years of of being on youtube seven years of being on youtube is a thousand subscribers my goodness that's all i wanted <laughs> but anyways uh moving on back to the questions um so um let's move on to sim pvp okay so, um everyone's if, favorite too. yes mm -hmm. uh so when describe exactly how you became aware of the existence of sim pvp okay Tough. like what happened to me is like um um i was searching for tv to tv videos like all and i found um mc sapling mm. um all tv to tv footage um so i subscribed to her channel and then i see that um old um, videos excuse i gotta stop that. you right there uh yeah? the, the the correct pronoun is his you just called MC Sapling a her. Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> if you want, if he listens to this, that'll be hilarious. But um, anyways, continue. I'm s my sorry, like, I. Well, my like my English level is not. I know, I know. I, I don't mean to put you on the spot about that. I just thought that was funny. Okay. Well, I was watching um his videos. Is that the correct way of saying? Yes. That? Yes. Well, I was watching um, his TV um, all footage videos and I subscribed to her channel. Not to his channel, sorry. <laughs> his channel. Uh, um, um, and I see that he was starting to stream um, um, sim PvP videos, but well. Hello? I want to reconnect again. Sorry? Okay, I can hear you again. Continue. Like, you just left call for... No, I didn't leave call for no reason. I couldn't hear you at all. Um, can you say the last thing that you heard before you... Um, um... You were describing... Um, you were watching uh, MC Sapling's live stream. Okay, I was watching... And I also see that you... We're starting to make videos on Sim PvP, and then, like, um, 
started to see like there was the server like in in well I started to see the server but then one day I see that someone in the Tubi chat so I decided to to give it a try yeah I definitely remember that Hello, hello. Hey. Can you hear me? Yes. I could hear you before. I don't know what the problem was. I don't know why you left. Oh. Oh. Well, I'll continue anyways. Uh, yeah. So, basically, I, I saw your videos and MC Sapling videos and... And... I, and someone... Deep in Tubi's chat. So I decided to join and yeah, I really enjoy playing in the server. Yeah, um, so you hear that everybody? Um, Mr. Cram, I I am not responsible for bringing him to the server. It's all uh, MC Sapling's MC fault. MC Sapling is, so blame him. Uh, that's all I gotta say about that. Um, so you had already been subscribed to me, right? Or, or something. I haven't subscribed like to you for. I haven't subscribed to your channel for a long time. For a I long think that time. I was subscribed. I think that I was subscribed to your channel. I mean, your like. When did you delete your? Um, I deleted my old channel in 2017, and I don't know. Oh, so no. Yeah. That would have been before you even knew about 2B. So that wouldn't make any sense. Uh, so yeah, I basically I was subscribed to your channel for like a lot. Yeah, since I joined 2B2T, I subscribed to, to a couple of channels I'm allowed to be, and one of that channels was yours. And hmm. yeah. So, um,. What are your plans for sim PvP now? Sorry, can you can you say what it again? What are your plans for sim PvP? Oh, as of right, right now? now, just um, basing and yeah, I'm just basing and building with MC Sapling. Mm -hmm. Um, a little nice base, and my plans are just to. Um, play there, have fun, talk, and get involved in community projects. Um, I hope that someday um, um, hate me. Um, you hope someday right now, the server won't hate you, is that what you said? Yes. I, I yeah, hope that someday. Um, they'll, pr they'll pretty much always hate you, but they all secretly want you to make the video. You know, no, yeah, like right. half of the server wanted me to make the video, and the other half. No, the other half is just in denial. A lot they of people secretly uh, want you to make it. No, no, because no, but there's like this dude called Andy Dragon. Yeah, and Dragoon. I, I don't know what's up with him. He's like, um, he's kind of whacked out. I've both defended him and, um, you know, been against him before. So I don't know what's up with him. Mm. What's up with him? So basically, um, he like started to say me that he will dox me if I make that, and he was being like very very aggressive. But um, uh, but then you see like um, Lord saying, "Hey, Cram, dude, please, can you make the video, please?" Um, Slash also wanted me to make the video. <laughs> there was like a lot of people saying me to make the video, and another another huge group of people. Video. But if I make the video or did make the server, will stay the same way, because like no one would care about the video that is. Yeah, I mean, like. basically, all the players of of Two B already pretty much know about Sim PVP. They just don't like it. You know. Mm, I don't think so. I, I I don't think that the Spanish community knows about. Um, well, yeah, probably. Sim PVP. I mean, I don't know how I would feel about. Um, I mean, that might turn Sim into, like, a Spanish server. Wouldn't that be weird? 
Oh uh, yeah, but if I make my video really like like yesterday um I made a stream before tip and how many people do you think that it joined because of that stream? How many? What A, like around like what do you think based on what uh, we have already talked maybe like 20 maybe like 20 yeah. they like in that stream they joined three three people oh my goodness three people stream. three people so yeah i think that for a to be um for a sim pvp podcast they will join maximum basically yeah, yeah, uh, and it's not even, it's like, um, yeah, sure, there'll be an influx of players if you live stream it, but after the fact, it'll pretty much return to normal. So, DigMC actually managed to um, raid uh, Sim PvP on a live stream, and he managed to crash the server, and he only has 8,000 subscribers, uh, but after the fact... Yeah, like, very few of his, like, audience, like, remain on the server, so... Well, but I think that they has a very, um, um, like, uh, a community, a fanbase that really loves him and really cares about what he does. Fanbase, like, the people that follow me are the same people that follow all the 2B2T Spanish content group. So... Like I don't feel like they care about what they, they said, and and uh, and another thing is like, twenty seven percent of my subscribers have a Minecraft account. Like a lot of them play on the mobile phone instead of the. Hmm. A lot of them just play them. They they just don't want to buy the game. Yeah, that, hmm, that's interesting. Um, yeah. Well, I guess that the Spanish-speaking countries has less mon have less money than the English-speaking countries, and then so people just spend twenty dollars in a, in Minecraft. Yeah. Um. What else? What else was I gonna ask? Um. This is supposed to be an hour, but I'm already running out of questions. Um. So. Ultimately, where do you see yourself on both 2B and Sim PvP in a year? Like uh, mm. at, at the end of this year, what do you what do you hope to accomplish? At the end of this year, hmm. I see myself in 2B. Um, I don't know. I see. It will be. I see myself um, like in a year being the only Spanish. Um, Content creator into longer be the be what's um like la moda. How is this in English? Let me check it. Out. I'm like you will know. I'm making two videos in the Spanish community, so I will be the only Spanish um, content creator that makes two videos. Hmm. Really? Um, yeah. Are they all? Are they That's... all like sort of fading away? But. I feel that a lot of Spanish, like, or, um, look, there was El Rich MC that made, um, a lot, uh, that made, um, a lot of people start making 2B videos, but then, with the years, they start to disappear, okay? Um, and now that another big YouTuber called, um, Cybergun, or Cybergun, his video on, on 2B, a lot of, Sp of Spanish YouTubers has appeared again. But I think that there's going to happen the same, and a lot of um, speaking YouTubers will um, start to make other videos when the when 2B stops making views. Um, but you're saying you'll stick around, basically. And I'll stick around. I like I stick around the, the first time that stop that um, nobody like that will still be making 2B videos. That's how I see myself in like in 2B in in a year. Still making history videos and all that. Um, like my objective okay. is to explain all the history of all the server. No, there's um, a lot of it. Well, um, 
but yeah, what in a year? A yeah. year is a lot of time. True, but there is there is a lot of history on Tubi. <laughs> Have you seen the like timelines that they do um, in those like um, eh. like timeline.io or whatever website? Um, where they just lay out like everything. Yes. It's like I, I've seen it. so much history. Like I would, I wouldn't well, even know where to start, honestly. Well, I have already made an a explaining the full history, like the full timeline of the server. Dang, Eight really? videos, yeah, in Spanish. Like I, I turn. Like I have already explained the main history of the server, but there's a lot of things like teams that doesn't have any type of importance or. Stuff like that, that and so I want to make videos talking about that or or explaining in more detail, detail um things that happen in the timeline. But um, you to explain, like, I have made um, a video explaining the, the, the first days of the server, but my last video is talking about the Republic in more detail, like, and uh, yeah, basically, like. The main timeline, I have already made videos talking about the main timeline, and now I will make more videos talking about Imperium, Baxter Boys, Astral Order. I will talk about and their thing and their history and yeah, stuff like that. So I'm gonna try and uh, wrap this up right now, because um, I want to make this kind of like a shorter episode. Um, so just one final question. Um, can you give us a definitive answer as to whether or whether or not you will ever post the video on Sim PvP? Hello. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I am thinking. That's a hard question. I, I, like, I really want to make a video but I so like it hides it hides me so much to read the the, the wiki and you know things but um I playing the server and being um involved in the community than making this video. Um so yeah, I think that if someday I get jailed or I get banned from the server I will make the video, but if I am able to play the problem, um, I will not make the video. That's that's what I think. So you're effectively yeah. blackmailing the community of Sim PvP into never getting you jailed. Uh, what do you mean? <laughs> um, you're, like, yeah, you're like the fact that if you're jailed, you'll post a video makes the community of Sim not want you to get jailed, right? If well. I mean, a lot of them do want you to post a video, so maybe they will try and get you jailed. So who knows? Well, they are already trying to get me jailed, and I've said a couple of times that I will not make the video, so... I... Yeah, well... I don't know. I know that if I post the video, I will not be able to play the server because... Like, it will be just a normal survival because everyone... Will, everybody will, like, hate... Like, they already do, but even more. Um, and I and and maybe because of my video, um, some of my friends that have um huge like bigger channels than mine will start making videos. So, so, so if, saying, for no reason, you're saying I, that a that a um larger YouTuber might make videos on Sim other than you maybe but it's very like it's very like the possibilities are very like insignificant um, okay yeah i mean have you told any youtubers about sim or are you like do you like keep have i told secret? any youtubers about sim uh joined and well i have already said that i will not make the video but i was still at spawn i have just did escape it and um, i was with a uh, with another and he told me, hey, what are you doing? And, and I said, I am playing on this server. And and and, and our intention was to play together. But he will not make the video. So have, the question is, if the question is, have you told other YouTubers about the server? The answer is yes. Have, 
but if the question is have you tried to make other youtubers make videos in the server the answer is no okay all right i think that clarifies it um pretty much so um anyways i think i'm gonna end it here anything else that you want to tell my audience um sort of tell them about where they can find you on youtube or other platforms that's sort well, of thing. It, and and you want to see 2 b 2 t videos my channel is uh, mr grant basically all right um i have to say uh, it's been a great great podcast a little bit choppy on the audio because you know obviously international call um always it's always like that um but you know i think it was a pretty good conversation um anyways uh i will see everybody next time uh bye